this video will be part two of lesson two in your workbook and it's going to start on page 151. So we only actually have one class example to get through in this video, um, so it should be super quick. There's two corresponding uh, podcasts that you could watch from Mr. Prema on this. Um, so it's lessons 221 and 222 um, on YouTube. Okay, this video is going to be on something called the cast rule. What basically happens is we could take our Cartesian plane, and we know that our Cartesian plane is uh, divided into four quadrants. So quadrants one, two, three, and four. And there's something called a cast rule, and we're going to put the labels C, A, S, and T. Where you start if you use uh, CAS, because I'll show you another acronym in a little bit, is you would start down in quadrant four, and you'd write C, A, S, and T. What these letters stand for, S is sine, T is tan, C is cos, and the A is going to be all, all of those three ratios. So for A, it would be all three, which would be sine, cosine, and tangent. So A would be all of them. So A would be all which again is sine, cosine, and tangent. Okay, so what this means, how we apply this cast rule, is if you land your terminal arm, let's say in quadrant two. So quadrant two, we know is less than 180 degrees, but greater than 90 degrees. So if you have a terminal arm that lies in quadrant two, the only trig ratio that will be positive is sine. So let me show you an example. Let's pick a number between 180 and 90 degrees. So let's pick 150 degrees. And I'm gonna type in the sine of 150 degrees, the tan of 150 degrees, and the cosine of 150 degrees. According to my cast rule, 150 degrees would be over here in quadrant two. So this would be my rotational angle of 150 degrees. And in quadrant two, only sine is positive. So let's go to our calculators. We need to make sure we're in degree mode. So again, go to mode and make sure that degree is highlighted. And if I type in sine of 150 degrees, I should get a positive answer. Type in the cos of 150 degrees. Now, in that quadrant, my in S, which is quadrant two, only sine is positive. So when I type in cos of 150, I should get a negative number, and same with the tan of 150. So the cos of 150 degrees is negative, and the tan of 150 degrees is also negative. Let me give you another example. So sine would be positive, tan and cosine would be negative. Let's say I said um, that what would, let's do 330 degrees. So tan of 330 degrees. Without typing this in your calculator, would tan of 330 degrees be positive or negative? So you'd say, okay, well, where's that terminal arm? Here's 270, here's 360, the tan of 330 degrees would be right about here. According to my cast rule, I am now in quadrant four. The only ratio that's positive in this quadrant is cosine. That's the only positive one. Therefore, the tan of 330 degrees whoops, should be a negative number. So let's check. Tan of 330 degrees, according to my cast rule, and I'm right, it's negative. What if I said 30 degrees, the cosine of 30 degrees? So you'd say, okay, where is 30 degrees? 30 degrees, I'm hoping everybody knows, is in quadrant one. So that would be 30 degrees. What's positive in quadrant one? So A stands for all. So 
all three trig ratios are positive. So if I type in the cos of 30 degrees, I'm going to get a positive number. If I type in the tan of 30 degrees, I'll get a positive number. And if I type in the sine of 30 degrees, I will get a positive number. Okay. I like using this cast rule. So I always, every time I, I do these questions, I just write C-A-S-T. I have another teacher friend. She doesn't like, she doesn't remember cast. She does this. She wants to remember add sugar to coffee. If you want to use this acronym, you must start in quadrant, the top right quadrant. So add sugar to coffee. Or with cast, we have to start in quadrant four. C A S T. So whether you're you prefer starting in quadrant four and memorizing cast, or you want to start in quadrant one and do add sugar to coffee, you're going to get the exact same answers. What would questions look like? So it's going to say determine without using technology. And we don't need to use our calculators, you guys. This is so easy if you memorize cast. So without using technology, we're going to do, we're not going to type any of this in. Maybe we'll verify using technology, whether the given trig ratios are positive or negative. Okay, always write cast or your add sugar to coffee, but there's my cast. And then I'm going to label uh, my quadrants as far as zero degrees, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees, and back to 360. Where would 340 degrees be? 340 degrees would be between 270 and 360. It would be in this quadrant here. What is the only trig ratio positive in quadrant four? The answer is cosine. So sine will be negative in quadrant four, right? Sine will be negative. Let's do tan of 227 degrees. So 227 degrees, I hope you see, would be my angle and standard, or my rotational angle, 227 would be in this quadrant. I am in the T quadrant for tan. That means that tan is positive. So let's just verify these two. On my calculator, let's type in sine of 340. The only thing I care about right now is that a negative number spits out. Let's type in B, tan of 227. We said that that answer would be positive, and it is. Sine of 88 degrees. Sine of 88 degrees, 88 degrees is less than 90, so you are in quadrant one. And in quadrant one, that's A, all three trig ratios are positive, so sine will be positive. Okay. Cos of 235, uh, 235 degrees will be in the third quadrant. And according to my cast rule, only tan is positive, so cos will be negative. Cos of 308 degrees. So where is that? 308 degrees will be in quadrant four. Right? And according to the cast rule, C-A-S-T, Cos is positive in this quadrant. So if I type in cos of 308 degrees on my calculator, I'm going to get a positive answer. Tan of 123 degrees. So where is 123 degrees? So try to find that. If this is 180, that's 90. 123 will be in here. And according to my cast rule, I'm in a sine quadrant, which is S, so only S is positive, only sine is positive, so tan will be negative, okay? And this lesson was just literally on the cast rule, so we're not going to do class example five. That will be done in 30-1. And the two questions that I want you to do are questions seven and questions 10.